Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the comparator method comparing, which is a static method. And I want to give an example with it and also want to talk about it with respect to how it can look quite complicated in the API, but when you work through it, it's not as bad as it might first look. So here I have a class, another book with a title and a price, and I have some get methods in there. Now, I create one with Java, one with text, one with alpha, and various prices. I then create a list, generically typed for the another book. I add in these books, and then I use the for each. And then I pass in uh, system.out.println method reference. I'll be talking about method references as well in this example. And as you can see, Java, text, and alpha. Array lists, a list uh, maintains the order and allows duplicates. So the order that they were added in is the order I'm getting them back out. So now what I want to do is use the collections.sort on that array list and pass in a comparator to tell it to sort it by the title. And there is the title going in. And then you can see afterwards when I use the for each, it's alpha and Java and text. So it's in sorted alphabetically, it's in the right order. Now, by the way, this for each that I'm using here and up here, it's iterating internally. So basically, you just say for each element in that collection, do that operation, which is to print it out. Looking at the API for a minute, and it can even be confusing to interpret the return type. But if you just do a, do a select here, you'll notice that it doesn't go across. So it'll tell you there that this is your return type of comparator. The key to understanding all of this is that the comparing method takes in a function. So let me go and look at a function. A function is generically typed for T and R, or it's T and U in the comparing, but basically it has an apply method where it takes in one of those types and returns the other one. Now, the compiler will generate the method itself, so you won't see an apply in my code, that's because of lambda expressions. It can generate, there's only one abstract method. It's a functional interface. So it can generate the apply method in the background. But it really helps then when we start looking at this, the functions. So if I go back to the code, there's the function. We're going to apply T and get back U. Now, if I do it with a lambda, then basically what I'm passing in is another book. There's the separator, and then there's the b.get title. Now, I think that makes it an awful lot easier than to understand. So you're passing in another book. So t is another book, and you're returning back a string. So u is now a string, according to the function. So now we know what t and u are. So then you can plug them in. So that's the T up there. That becomes another book. U then becomes a string, which extends comparable, which it does. It implements the comparable interface and it's question mark super string, which is absolutely fine. It's returning back a comparator for another book. And you can prove that by this line here, line 43, where I generate a comparator by calling comparator.comparing, and then I pass in the method reference. If I change that to string, it won't work. So it just shows you that that is, t is another book, basically. And there's the function, t is the, another book, and u is the string. So all we're doing with the method reference is reducing it down even further by saying, okay, the compiler will take in another book and it will return the get title return type, which is a string. So you're passing in another book and you're getting back a string. And that's what the method reference does. It's just a shorter version of the Lambda, but it sometimes makes it much easier to understand it when you see what the Lambda is. And if you work it backwards, then the T and the U are set to another book and string respectively, 
and then you can work it out uh, the generic types all the way through it. So I hope that was helpful. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks very much.